So that was copy pasta, but that's actually how a lot of people in this community think. I personally fall victim to a little bit of that, and I'm sure some of you can relate as well. So I'm going to give you guys my background so you have a little bit of context of where I'm coming from. Uh, I started playing back in Black Ops 2, only got on a couple teams, never played anything substantial, and going into Ghost, I played a shit ton, ended up quitting late in the year. Decided to pursue lacrosse and then I saw my teammate shredding in Nashville. I got super jealous and decided I was going to come back in advanced warfare. But I was stuck on the 360 and had no friends to play with until I switched to the Xbox One in May. And even then, it was a struggle. I got into the same community that I was playing 8s with, but that was just about it. So I figured the only way I was going to branch out of that 8s community was by creating a YouTube channel. And I made my first video that was a Blood Orange G Fuel review. And I just got clown, man. It was bad. I went to school. It was on my teacher's wall. It was getting played to my class. Like it was my girlfriend at the time was playing it in front of all of her family members. I'm just getting clown. Like it was, it was, it was a bad time. Regardless, I still continued to upload almost daily, if not double daily videos for over six months. Check the times. Check how many videos I have. Promise you not even 90% of them are public. I ended up quitting in World War II because I just, I did not like the game. I decided I wanted to focus on my relationship and to build more connections, you know, with the people that I went to high school with because the first two years that I was in high school were dedicated to making just Call of Duty YouTube videos. And, uh, you know, I was lacking a lot of social skills. So from there, I decided, okay, how am I going to get back into this Call of Duty thing when Black Ops 4 came out and I, first thing I did was hit up my best friend Logan Remark and we tried to play some dubs and it got nowhere. We lost everything. We didn't we didn't go anywhere. We chalked it and both went our separate ways and then I pretty much quit did not play at all in Black Ops 4. I would shoot my bots. I would try to play but I just I, I didn't get anywhere. So coming into Modern Warfare I was in kind of the same predicament. I had no connections and everybody that I did know pretty much forgot about me. The only time I was relevant was in Black Ops 3. So it was a struggle. Uh, I ended up playing, tried my absolute hardest every single day to get people to play with and eventually got a squad of people that were in the same position as me that quit for a couple years and decided that we wanted to try to get back into it. And we agreed that we wanted to compete just with the sole intention to practice for next year to stay warm and to keep us all in the loop so it wasn't such a struggle going into next year we weren't starting from absolute zero so we played a bunch of scrims we learned a lot together and we got absolutely nowhere and ended up splitting up and pretty much all of us quit i'm here uh, i'm going into cold war i have a team lined up and i have a youtube channel i'm trying to get somewhere trying to make these connections trying to make this content and trying to build a little bit of a fan base here so trying to get into this community to begin with is pretty hard to do, but trying to get back into it is even harder to do. Here's my friend Nate Kudo to talk about why. Well, I mean, getting it to your first time around, you're kind of like seen as an up and comer. You know what I mean? 99% of the time, if you quit that first time, it's just, it's way harder to get back. I'm trying to get back into the community. He says it's going to be a lot harder. Nobody wants to team with a quitter at the end of the day. You have to, when you're competing, you have to treat this like a full-time job almost. If like say for instance you quit your full-time job there's no like there's no way you're gonna go back unless you left on like perfect terms not at 10 times if you quit like unexpectedly like most of these ams do then it's just <laughs> no point you chalk the whole job as it is like why are you gonna team with somebody that hasn't played the game in a year or so i don't know it just it doesn't make sense to me um if you're thinking about quitting one time then you probably aren't cut out for this because like i said earlier it's a full-time job but you have to put at least 40 hours a week just to come by. You got to start from the bottom. Simple as that. It, it, it's almost it's almost like reset resetting your rank in any like online game. For instance, like this, everybody's gonna think you're that one bot again once you come back. It, it doesn't matter if you like if you quit. Just you're gonna have to start from the bottom unless you unless you are like nasty to the point where you were on the verge of being a pro. Like people like Temp. I'm pretty sure he didn't really play Bo3. 
And then end of IW, he didn't play, like, all he did was play 8s and 10s, and then he just came back and instantly joined the team. But that's because people knew him. 99% of the times, these amps have way too big of an ego to, to know that. They don't realize that they're really, they're nothing at the end of the day. Like, you're just an amp player that tried to compete, didn't fail, you probably suck, and that's just the harsh reality of it. So you tweet out some old homies, you know, they might acknowledge you, but it doesn't go any further than that. You're scrolling through the timeline, you don't know a single pro roster, you're wondering where all of your favorite vets went and who all these new guys are, and you just don't even know where to start. People change quick and drastically, and their opinion of you most likely changed just as much. Where do you go from there? Let's talk about it. And watching every single pro tournament from the most recent title, get up to date with how the game has evolved since you last played. Find some players in a similar position as you and get to work. You're going to relearn the game, drop that ego, forget who you were and just focus on learning what's ahead of you. Get those thumbs back intact. Watch for next week. There's going to be a whole video on how to do that. Network, network, network. Get your name seen somehow, some way, and get in better lobbies with better people. Create your content and get your gameplay seen by potential supporters, if not other players. So if you really hit all of these dials, it's kind of hard not to find people to play with. And like I said, stay tuned to next week to figure out how to keep those thumbs back intact. Hopefully you guys have a great yesterday. If you did, make sure to leave a like and any constructive criticism down in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date for the newest content. I'm out. Peace.